fish number one, baby. Uh, you want to keep? You might keep. Fish number one might be keeper number one. Get in there. Swing aboard. Springtime cold fronts. If that's your question, is that something that concerns you? Well, this is the video for you because I am in North Northern Indiana on Lake Wawa Sea. Last week was 70 degrees. Today is a high of 28. Oh, but it gets better than that. We got winds today, sustained winds all day, over 20 miles per hour. Gusts expected to exceed 40 miles per hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fourth cast maybe with my blade bait. See, he ate the whole thing in his mouth. That's a real good sign. Yeah, cold, crazy, crazy, stupid stuff. And we're gonna see if we can't catch a mess of largemouth bass. Maybe get lucky catch a smallmouth, but we're really going after largemouth bass. Now, it's so cold out here, fish care. Fish management, fish care. Their fins are gonna start freezing in a matter of, I don't know, 30 seconds, if that. So you gotta be fast. If you gotta measure this fish, which I will, I'll measure him, make sure he does go 14 inches. But get him in the live well as soon as possible. Definitely gonna be keeping them too. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hook perfectly. Thank you, Bite Me Tackle. Bite Me Tackle, anything Bite Me Tackle. Did a promo code below, save some money on Bite Me Tackle. Can you talk? I'm excited. bait. I love a net rig. I throw a net rig a lot, but it, if you follow me, you know I'm typically using braided line. But braided line is really tough when it's below freezing, because uh, that braided line will freeze in your spool. So I change that out to fluorocarbon line. Four keepers in an hour. I'd say it's pretty good considering the conditions. Could you be another keeper? It's been a long time since I've had a bite. Had a limit, or four four keepers in an hour. And I'm still stuck on that four fish. And I don't think this is going to be number five either. Well, I'm exactly three hours into this tournament. And uh, I did catch my fifth keeper shortly after. My camera wasn't going at the time, but I got five keepers. One of them's real small, right at the 14 inch limit. The other four are, I mean, they're okay. It's a weird bite. I mean, they were eating pretty good first hour. And, and then in the, after nine o'clock, the tournament started at eight o'clock. Took me 15 minutes, 17 minutes to get there. But even on a Ned rig, they would pop it twice. I set the hook on a fish on a Ned rig and came up with a scale. Now that's, that's that's fairly typical with a blade bait, but a net rig, which is really weird. So the bite got weird, but I did manage to get my fifth keeper and I got five hours to start upgrading. So hopefully I can do that. Well, I didn't get up on, on film, but I just, I just made a call. Here's my smallest one. He's going bye-bye because he's much bigger. I've left, a, uh, I'm in the channel right now. Definitely not where I want to fish. But the main lake bite has died. I, I say it's died, it's died for me. Fishing in the snow. Back on the blade bait. Oh, I don't know if he's gonna, there's a keeper, another keeper. I don't know if he's gonna help me. Come here, you tank. Well, he only thinks he's a tank. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, 
Another one's probably not going to help me, but it's a good sign starting to get bites. Hopefully, I'm around a bunch of fish. I see them all over the Garmin. I need a big one, but they, they may be getting active now. And, you know, no, no, that's not a bad fish to catch for fun, right? I mean, that's, that's a, a magic keeper, if not real close. Chunky, typical pre-spawn, early, late, late winter pre-spawn deal. They're getting fat or eating up. It is a ton of fun fish for them. Now, considering the arctic cold run i don't think i had a bad day at all i probably caught two dozen fish i didn't keep track of probably at least two dozen eight keepers i just didn't catch any big ones i mean i weighed my fish out here in the lake I, i'm right around eight and a half pounds uh, is that going to win any money today i would be stunned if that wins money and we're paying the top four or five i'm gonna weigh my fish see where i end up at but hopefully get a nice interview with the winner to see how they figured out the bigger fish on this day well camera died to me and weighing but i weighed in 8.91 pounds i finished seventh out of 23. i got the winner with me here mr jake otto weighed an incredible 5.2 5.02 pound largemouth bass congratulations jake and he also Thank you. total weight 12 point i can't even remember now 44 won 700 some odd dollars if i'm not mistaken for it's all said and done congratulations all right jake I was deep, I was shallow, I was blade baiting, net rigging, a rigging, jerk baiting. Anyway, I caught fish between four and uh, like 10 foot. But I caught dinks. How did you catch the big ones? I caught a lot of small ones too, really. Uh, I only caught, I think, well, six keepers. Like six keepers. And I caught some out deep, some in 20 foot of water. I think one of my keepers came on a blade bait, uh, one on a drop shot. Yeah, but most of them came from about 12. 12 foot of water. Were they holding on a particular weed bed? or? Yeah, yeah, I only fished like three spots all day, I think. And there was just little weed patches on top of the, the pumps out there. Ah, no kidding. But uh, most of them came on jerk bait. On jerk That's bait. A big one came on, yeah. And a big weed, or green weeds was key. Yep. So when you say green weeds, I caught all sorts of perch grass while I was out there and little little junk weed down there when you found weed beds like actual not they were they really no. weren't there was just little tufts not not very big patches at all i mean so, and it was short it's not very tall so you had to deal with that wind out there you i did the lake. i was out on the main lake all day yeah. Woo -wee. all right you want to see how cold it was out here look at this check this out look at this hanging off of his boat well there you have it arctic cold front coming through in the midwest on march 27 2022 jake otto I can't help it. Safe auto. I can't help it. Can't help myself. Showing you can still catch giant bass. Thanks, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.